Our strategy in this war has been to smash Germany first and then concentrate on Japan. To wear Germany down, we had to build thousands upon thousands of medium-range bombers with fighters to protect them. And now we're equipping our arsenal to do the same job over here on Japan. This is a war of distances, of long-range attack. Our spearhead is the giant B-29 Super Fortress. An armada of thousands of these flying battleships is in preparation, and that calls for tens of thousands of Wright Cyclone engines to power them. Your friends and your neighbors build these engines right here in New Jersey. And we need more help in a hurry if we're going to do a thorough job before D-Day in Japan. We don't expect experienced help, and Wright will pay you while you learn. You'll be saving American lives on the Jap beachheads, and you'll learn a useful trade in an industry with a great future. So if you're not in essential war work now, go to the Wright Aeronautical Employment Office either in Patterson or Woodridge, or visit your nearest USES office today. Remember, Wright is in the Pacific War till the last shot is fired, so stay in the fight. Work at Wright. Pretty 22-year-old Jane James knows why her work of operating this milling machine is helping to speed the day of victory. Her letters tell her that every minute counts in the battle of war production. Letters from her soldier husband who was a prisoner in Nazi Germany. Before her husband became a Nazi prisoner in the fighting in North Africa, Mrs. James did clerical work. Now she operates this precision machine to help turn out airplane propellers in the Curtis Wright plant, Beaver, Pennsylvania. And for relaxation, Mrs. James joins other women war workers in one of the comfortable restrooms. Then back to the job where all the heavy work, such as lifting, is done by the most modern mechanical equipment. Many more men and women are needed for jobs like these. You can do your part. Get in the fight. Join Curtis Wright. New modern housing within easy walking distance of the Curtis Wright plant. 